Hi everybody, it's Lisa. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having an awesome day. Valentine's Day, can you believe it's just around the corner next week? I think I'm, I've got a special recipe that I'm going to do. But anyway, today I just wanted to share a little bit about my story. Some of you that have been following me probably know it, but um, I just wanted to explain a little bit about why I've been posting and sharing my journey mostly to inspire other people. I learned from other people and I expect that the younger people coming up, you know, and we all learn from each other. So I'm hoping that something that I can say will help you. So um, I've battled weight issues for most of my life. We're talking like before kindergarten, I was the kid that didn't get picked on the team, you know, cause I was fat and all that stuff. And you know, it, I can look back now and see where it had an advantage. Um, I'm not happy that I was fat, but you know, it taught me to be independent and handle things on my own. Cause you know, I only had a few friends and I was shy too. That was the other thing. Um, but there are some really loyal people out there too, because those are the ones who will reach out and, and, um, I can still remember one to this day. Her name's Haley. Um, but anyway, so I've battled with weight a long time and as you get older, it really doesn't get very much easier age and, and all that stuff really doesn't help. And I'm going to post this, um, it's going to be a blog post, but, uh, you know, I was determined. So I tried something new, jumped in, tried keto, low carb, and you know how you blow stuff off sometimes. And I was like, ah, that's not going to work because nothing really was working. But when I combined that, the determination, I watched my calories, I did the carb counts and, you know, eliminated a lot of the junk food. Guess what? Away goes about 30 pounds and a foot off my waist. I now fit in smaller clothes, feel great. And so that's been another step on the journey. Um, so now I want the rewards for doing that work because it was work. I mean, let's face it. When you have to break a habit, it's mental work when you have to do exercise. And I've done a lot of exercise. And that was the thing. I guess I exercised a lot. So I thought, well, I shouldn't have a weight problem, except I did. So it can all happen, but you do have to usually have like a three pronged approach. And I forgot about a couple of the prongs. So anyway, I'm ready to travel now and I've been posting a lot about travel just because it's been so much fun. It's been kind of exhilarating. I'm learning new things and I wanted to share some of that with you, with my audience. Reach out to people, uh, give them hope, all that good stuff. So, um, and it helps me write my children's book too. There are two things that if you would have ever told me that I would do uh, when I was about 25, I probably would have looked at you like you had two heads because I would never have dreamed at like 25, I would write children's books and that I would be telling my story on video because I, I just didn't think that way. So people do change. Um, but anyway, so getting, I've written a lot about getting out of your comfort zone. I believe in routine and consistency. Please don't misunderstand me. But sometimes you need to break that up. You can get on a track and end up in a rut doing the same thing over and over again. Um, it can feel like burnout. And when you start to feel that, that is when you need to take your breaks. Go do something new. Go do something fun. Just the anticipation of it can sometimes just change your whole mood and attitude. Um, so I hope that this has helped you. Again, this will be my blog post. So you want to check it out. It's on going to be on Lisa M. Bell dot com um sometime next week i hope everyone is so looking forward to valentine's day and i'm looking forward to making that special dish for my special someone who has stuck with me for over 40 years now so um you guys take care and i will see y'all later have an awesome day